Right, hi, yeah, so we're on this gradient function thing. So let's, let's find the stationary point. So we've got a stationary point there and there. So that'll go with the gradient graph having a y value of zero. Traveling this way, it's as steep as possible down the bottom. And as it travels up the curve, it's still positive, but it's getting smaller. And then as I come around the curve here, it starts getting negative and bigger. And then somewhere down here, it's as steep as it's going to get. So that's going to be the bottom of the curve. And then the gradient is still negative, but it's getting smaller until it matches there. And then it's going up now, and the positive is going bigger. It's gradient is positive, and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Steeper and steeper and steeper. So what that should match to is, hang on, let's get rid of that, is a graph where, say it's the steepest there, the bottom of the graph will match. So I've got something which will go sort of like that, there. So that's where it's the steepest, and it matches with the bottom of the gradient graph, the biggest negative it was having. So as a question for you, let's have a look at that one. So we started off with a cubic. It was the steepest negative you've got going. And then you've got the stationary point and that matches. And then you've got this positive gradient going up to... Um, hang on. Sorry, you've got this here. You've got the positive gradient, the steepest it's going to be. There, which matches with that part, and you've got a stationary point which matches with that part, and then it goes down. What's this here? What does this tell us? Oh, don't do that. oh my god, <laughs> you can copy that one. I'm not explaining that one. Uh, then we got a true, it says a trickier one. Let's have a think about this then. So that's zero. I've got a negative gradient, and that's where it gets the steepest. A negative gradient where it's getting smaller, so hitting towards a gradient of zero. So I think, uh, so we've got in between there, so it's going to be getting steeper negatively, and then less steeper negatively. So I think it's going to go, and that'll match the bottom. I think it'll be like that where that point matches with the bottom there. Um, so this one, this is a log graph. It acts as an asymptote down towards the, the y-axis. So I've got steep gradient. It's always a positive gradient, but eventually the graph tails off and the gradient is zero. So it gives us the steepest it can have at the start, and it just drops down there towards the axis. Um, I think that's it. Oh, God, there's another example. <laughs> so this one, oh, let's have a look at this one. Well, this one's easier because it's straight lines. I can just work out the gradient between them. So the gradient for the first bit is 2 over 2, so but it's 2 over 1. Yeah, it's going up positive, so it's got a gradient of 2 over 2, which is 1. So all of that has a gradient of 1. Then for this bit here, your gradient is 0. So it's there, kind of instantaneously. It's like minus 2. And then for this bit here, it drops down by 2. The four, so it's got a gradient of minus a half. Uh, can I fit a minus a half in here? Kind of instantaneously jumps between the two. That's minus a half on there. there. I reckon that's us done. Don't so much worry about this. Um, we've got some questions you can have a go at. Right then, bye bye.